Welcome back to CMP TV. This is Lady India. You're joining the studio by my man, the... The Shocker. That's right. All right, and we're back on the topic seduction. Oh, yeah, seduction. So, uh, Lady Indy, I hear a story that um, you were seduced earlier today. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I was at um, the store, uh, Save a Lot and More. <laughs> I was there and stuff. I was grabbing some... You know, 10 for 10 stuff, whatever they had going on. But um, this man that was pushing this cart, you know, I was in the aisle and he was pushing this cart in front of me, like past me. And he looked at me and when he looked at me, I felt so violated. Like I felt completely disrespected, like on a whole other level because he undressed me with his eyes. It was very, uh, very, very uncomfortable feeling. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but that unfortunately isn't seduction. That's just a creeper right there. <laughs> yeah, because, it, I mean, he wasn't enticing me at all. It wasn't enticing. It wasn't a good feeling. So, you know what? Maybe that's not the story that we should even talk about. I mean, seduction would be a little bit more like my experience that I had earlier at the park today. <laughs> Let's hear well, you know, I ain't one to brag, but, you know, I was just uh, giving this girl the eye from across the way, and she could tell that uh, I was into her and she was into me. And uh, then I just slowly walked on over there, and we ended up having a good conversation. Uh, I don't think that's seduction either, unless you seduced her to walk your way. <laughs> well, that's the only way that would be seduction. I mean, I did seduce her into getting the phone number. Hopefully she's not listening to this, so. Okay, 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 okay. What you think? Hmm? Well, I mean, like I said, hopefully she's not listening to this because she probably won't respond now. <laughs> okay, the shocker, you better cross your fingers and hope she don't hear it. But we're going to go to the phone lines. We're going to talk about seduction. We want to hear from you guys what you guys think if it's possible to be seduced without removing any clothing or touching. Welcome back to TMP TV, and you are live in studio with the shocker and the beautiful Lady Indy. Now, uh, Indy, I was just kind of wondering, we were uh, talking about you getting uh, seduced by some creeper. Like, elaborate a little bit more on that. I want to bring that up again. The creeper guy? Yeah. And I was in a grocery store and in the aisle and he was, you know, going about his business or whatever. But at the same time, like, I caught his eye. He caught mine. And by that point, it felt like something personal of mine was being taken away. Like, he was take, he took something from me that belonged to me that I can never get back. Like, I'm like, man, have I? I got owl pimped. <laughs> like, I'm in an owl. I got pimped in the owl by somebody I don't even know. Like... What, were, you, were you mesmerized or what? No, I think he was mesmerized before he even got my eye contact because he was already staring at me by somebody even looked at him and by somebody looked at him, I felt violated. I'm serious, like, I'm not playing at all. Like, I'm serious. Like, this dude definitely wanted to seduce me. Like, he removed my clothing without touching me. Man, it sounds like you got jacked. I got jacked for my soul glow. <laughs> I got jacked. Soul glow. <laughs> Let Just it let shine through. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> now we got some crazy people on the studio. So anyway, um, on a more serious note, that that does sound real creepy, and I do apologize on behalf of. No, I appreciate your apology because I feel bad. Like, I feel like you took a part of me that I can never get back at that point in time. Well, uh, to all the creepers out there, we will find you and hunt you down. We gon' find you. We gon' find you. <laughs> so, call us at 260-3310-PTV and let us know what you think. We up and out.